Yo YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to another video to the channel, y'all yeah, boys. And today we're gonna go and review another World Cup team of the tournament card. And it's going to be 88 rated. I'm gonna mispronounce his name, by the way. I forgot how you pronounce it. So please, if there's any Portuguese viewers or Brazilian viewers, let me know how to pronounce his name. Diogo de Lot. Six foot high high, right foot, three star skill moves, four star weak foot, 223,000 coins he bought him on the market, which is interesting for a right back 89 pace 73 shooting 85 passing 88 dribbling 85 defending and 87 physicality he has dives into tackle straight which i keep on preaching is an amazing trait to have in a defender now what's the camp style we're gonna give this card the shadow camera should style because you want to boost out that pace 89 pace is okay but it needs to be way better at this stage of the game we're getting next to foot miss well, not fun mess, but winter wild cards, or whatever the promo is going to be. And after that, we got team of the year. So, you know, we got to boost up that pace. And then defending, the 80s is okay. You want to boost them up even more. Dribbling is pretty good for a fullback. Physicality is pretty good as well with that 88 stamina. Now, everybody was a fan of this Informs card. I want to see if he's really good, if there's a major difference between the Inform and the team of the tournament. Because the Inform, I wasn't really too much of a fan of. I... 50 times more like Gold Walker, but we're gonna see the vibes in game. He's gonna be playing on a 4 1 2 1 2 narrow as a right back right next to Pavar. So we're gonna see the vibes with this card. We're gonna play him with some foot champs, and I hope he's really good. All right, here we go again, number one. Let's see what type of team we're going against. Let's see, let's see. Mm, it's okay in some spots, in other spots, not so much. My shot on the pace. I'll pace in Werner right there. Nice. You took out the goalkeeper. Fuck, hit the post. Good defense right there. Would have won that ball back. Can he catch up to Vinny? Can he catch up to Vinny? Yes, he can. Good defense. That's a foul. Yeah. Or send him on the attack. Nice job. Nice shot, good tackle. Nice, he's gonna outpace the Netty easily right there. By that inside pass to Perisic. Nice shot right there, man. Great turn as well. Nice job getting the ball. Gonna set him on the run right here. Come on, come on. Gonna hit Foden. Oof, unlucky. Ooh, nice tackle right there. Where to get the ball? Great interception, man. Nice. And no Van Dyke catching up to him. <sighs> Unlucky. Great tackle, nice and clean. All right, guys, so once again, I apologize if I mince, mispronounce this name, but we're looking at a Diogo Dalat coming around 202,000 coins in the market, 200,000 coins on the PC. Comparing this 88 team in the tournament to the 84 inform, plus four on the pace, dribbling, defending, and physical, and you get a plus five on the shooting and the passing. Now, we played six games with him. 
he felt really good guys he felt much much better than the inform i will say right off the bat and i do like that a lot because like i said i wasn't a fan on the inform card a lot of people were and if you guys were a fan of the inform you guys will definitely love this team of the tournament card so pros right off the bat is the dribbling whenever you go forward with the card similar to like that hakimi card he feels really good on the ball he offers a lot to go forward with another pro four star weak foot he can pass out the back pass with either foot in tight situations so that's a very very good another pro of the card is the physicality specifically talking about the strength and aggression now he has 85 strength and 90 aggression it's really really good stuff um he also has dives into tackles which is fire really good links as well and another pro of the card i'm gonna say is the 88 stand tackling whenever you want to tackle with him he's gonna win the ball nine times out of ten whenever he's going against any attacker now pace wise it's gonna be somewhere in the mixed category because we did play an old gen right and i do feel like old gen gameplay is much more easier compared to new gen but considering the fact he has pretty much 89 90 pace right i think it's a good it's a good enough with the shadow chemistry style i'm not gonna say he's rapid like hakimi or walker but he's like right below that tier so i will say that and the final pro i will say is the he has 91 short passing so his passing is fire you want a full bag that can pass properly lb wise first time through balls across the pitch and all type of passing you want that from a fullback so he is definitely a really really good fullback much better than his inform i highly advise you guys buy him if you guys want somebody to link to that new Cristiano ronaldo flashback so uh with that being said he is usable he gets a thumbs up from me and rating wise for this card he's gonna get an 8.0 out of 10. really really good not really not not quite hakimi and walker level my opinion but he's really really good and i think you guys will like him a lot so Thank you guys so much for supporting all these videos. I really do appreciate you guys and are insane with the support. I really do appreciate you guys. And if you guys are new to the channel, feel free to drop a quick subscription and like. We're on the road to 4,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate the love from all of you from all over the world, man. You guys are amazing. It's been your boy, Dan FIFA, and I'm out. Bye-bye.